Hello, in this video, I'll show you how to create shape or dimension to your photos when it comes to Photoshop by simply drawing lines using the curves adjustment layer when it comes to Photoshop. So you can see the before and after that we're going to be achieving by the end of this very nice and insightful kind of video. So for this, I'll simply come and I delete these adjustment layers that we have used to create the shape or dimension so that we can learn everything from the very start to the very end. So the very first thing you have to understand is simply understanding that creating shape or dimension depends on the highlights and the shadows in the image. So you can see that we have highlights right here and we also have dark areas or shadows in this very image. So come to the background image and create a copy from the background image by pressing Command J or you can use Ctrl J on the keyboard, create a backup copy. And after creating that backup copy, we are simply going to come to the adjustments and come to the curves adjustment layer so in the properties of the curves adjustment layer you are going to notice that you have this line so click in the middle of the line and take up or drag up the slider and as soon as or when you start dragging it up you can see that the overall image tends to look a little bit bright so after you have done that with the white layer mask selected press ctrl i or you can use command i on the keyboard to hide or invert the effect and as you can see the effect has been hidden behind this kind of black mask and remember we have just brightened so brightening is for the highlights and in that way we be dodging so we are simply going to rename our layer by double clicking on it and naming the layer to dodge and we're going to do the same for the darkening of the shadow so just click on the curves adjustment layer come to curves click in the middle and drag down to darken the image slightly then press ctrl i or you can use command i on the keyboard to invert the effect inverting basically means the effect has been hidden behind this black mask remember in photoshop black is going to hide and white is going to reveal so i'm just going to double click on this and name that layer to burn so once we have created the dodge and burn layers as we have named them we are going to go into the step of drawing lines over the image so come to the dodge mask remember dodging is for the highlights and burning is for the dark areas or the shadows so with this dodge layer mask selected we are just going to come to the brushes get the brush tool and for the settings of the brush make sure the hardness is set to zero then soft round brush is selected the mode is set to normal opacity at 100 percent flow at 100 percent and for the color swatches make sure that you have black and white on these two color swatches so in case you have any color that is not black and white you can simply reset to black and white by first of all you can use a method of simply clicking on the tiny swatches right here or you can reset by pressing d on the keyboard d on the keyboard to reset to black and white so once you have done that ensure that white is the foreground color and you can ensure that by using the arrow key to switch between black and white so make sure white is the top color or you can press x on the keyboard to switch between black and white so for this step we are simply going to come and start drawing lines over the highlights and the shadows so for this we have selected the dodge layer mask so for the dodge we're just going to reduce on the size meaning the brush is white and it's going to be revealing what was hidden behind the black mask so we shall come and draw lines just like that over the areas we feel should have highlights in this very image so since we have less areas that have highlights i'll simply try and create a tiny bit of highlight on the forehead so you can you can even draw lines in case or you can just paint on those areas so we shall also do the same for the dark areas of the image so i'll just come and draw or paint on that area over the cheekbone and for the nose i'll reduce on the size of the brush by using the bracket keys on the keyboard the square bracket key so i'm just going to draw a line over the dark area of the nose just like that and just come and draw or paint on this area 
of the image so i'll also come and paint in some more areas regarding the highlights especially right here on top of her eye just like that so once you are done painting or drawing lines on those highlights and the shadows it is time to blend the effect into the image so for the dodge lemas that is selected you can see that it has properties and under properties and in case you can't see properties simply come to window and make sure properties is checked so for the properties of the dodge just come to where you see the feathering or feather and simply feather by clicking and dragging this towards the right hand side and as you're doing this you can see the effect starts blending into the skin so i'll blend this into the skin just like that i feel like about 82 that is okay then you're also going to do the same for the burn so select the burn layer mask and come to properties and come to feather and you can feather that in so that it can blend well into the skin and by just doing these simple slider movements you can see that the image is having this kind of shape or dimension and is having this kind of three dimensional kind of look so you can see the before and after for the burning and this is the before and after for the dodging now that the photo has shape or dimension added to it you can even come and enhance the image to look even better by adding a little bit of skin glow or skin shine so come and create one last curves adjustment layer and after creating it scroll down click on this right hand pointer and drag it towards the left hand side until when the highlights on the image are overexposed then simply right click on this curves layer and come to blending options then come and make sure blend if is set to gray come to where you see underlying layer and click on the underlying layer and drag the effect from affecting the overall image and stop at the point where by only the highlights especially on the model skin are being affected by this so after this simply hold down the option key on the keyboard option for mac alternate for windows and click on this right hand pointer and drag it towards the right hand side so that the effect can blend well into the skin click ok with this white layer mask selected we just want to hide the effect from affecting the overall image so just press ctrl i or you can use command i on the keyboard to invert the effect get the brush tool and with this white as the top color we are now going to come and paint on the highlights of this very image to create some shape or dimension or skin glow regarding this image to make it look even better so in case the effect is too much just come the opacity and reduce on the opacity so that the effect can look better and a little bit more natural so i feel like this is okay so for the dodging and burning just come and select both layers and simply press ctrl g for the dodging and burning and you can see before and after for the dodging and burning so in case the effect is too much for your liking always come to the opacity and reduce on the opacity for the effect to look natural and realistic so let's see the overall before and after for this kind of process this was the image initially before you can see how flat it was and this is the after before after before after so this is how you can simply use the curves and draw lines over the image to create shape or dimension to your photos and in case you have enjoyed this video don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe if you have been watching and you are not yet subscribed yet to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and i'll see you in more videos on this channel don't forget to keep practicing and as well keep creating